Hey guys, this is Hyder back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about how to sell into strength properly. And uh, yeah, and this is very, very, this is a very important concept because uh, a lot of people tend to struggle with selling too early or selling too late, right? But I'll go through my process of how I, um, how I approach selling into strength. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully this is helpful and you can take something from it. And I do want to say that there's no right way to do this. This is just how I do it, but there's a lot of different ways to, um, there's a lot of different ways to trade, right, in general. So um, yeah, take what works for you and implement it. Otherwise, um, yeah, there's always something that you can learn from someone else. So um, yeah, I'll just go over my process and hopefully you can take something from it. But yeah, let's get started. So I typically, I typically use the 10 and 20 day moving averages when I'm analyzing charts. Um, when I'm buying a stock, I want the 10 day to be above the 20 day because that's that's that basically tells me that the stock is in is in a uptrend, right? Uh, typically, when the 20 day is above the 10 day, you typically get sideways action. But when the 10 is above the 20, you get a very nice trend. And this is a great example, right? 10 is above the 20 day, crosses right here, and then we get a nice move up. 20 days above the 10 day, now it's very choppy. 10 days above again, and we get a nice move up here, right? But yeah, so let's say, um, so yeah, I see the 10 days above the 20 day. I see a nice flag set up forming here on Tesla, right? And I end up, let's say I end up buying on this day. Now, how do I sell into strength? So Tesla continues to go higher and higher, right? So far, really, really good action. It is going, it is slow grinding up, but it's not getting necessarily too extended just yet. And then on this day, it gaps up and it there's a lot of distance from the 10 day, right? So around yeah, 13% here. So this would ideally be a good place to sell into strength. Now, in this case, it did go, end up going uh, a little bit higher. But in general, when the price is 10% or more above the 10 day moving average, that's typically a very good area to sell a portion of your profits into strength. So over here, I definitely would have sold a couple or, my, or like, let's say I would have sold a half or a third of my shares on that day for sure. Right. And then the rest of my shares, I use the 10 day moving average to trail. So the next time it closes below the 10 day moving average, I'm going to end up selling the remaining of my shares. So Tesla does go up higher here and then it does pull back in. And on this day, it does close um, below the 10 day moving average. So I would have uh, I would have sold the rest of my shares and close the position so overall this would have, this would have been my first sell and this would have been my second sell um and yeah this process works really really well because the first <clears throat> you're all you're always going to keep your equity curve at it high, at its highs when you're selling into strength right you might end up losing on more profit later on but 90 percent of the time your equity curve is going to continue making higher highs and that's exactly what you want there's no need to catch the top every single time as long as you're making a very decent gain um, <clears throat> compared to the amount you're risking and you do that over time you're going to make a killing in trading right that's what trading is about all it's all about asymmetrical bets it's not about getting the lows or the highs um, but yeah anyways um, and and you don't have to sell everything into strength so a tr strategy that i use is i sell a half or a third into strength initially and then i keep the remaining shares or i keep the remaining position until it closes below the 10-day moving average and uh, yep yeah, that works that tends to work really really well uh, let's go over a few more examples <clears throat> so on this one tesla is above the 10 or the 10 is above the 20 and tesla is forming a nice little setup over here right and then on this day it gaps up you could potentially buy here and then forms another little flag here you could buy here again and then over here this one just slow grinds up and at the very peak it went from 213 so this is around yeah also 10 percent above the moving average so this would have been a very very good area to sell into strength um so i probably would have sold some there and then when it closes below the 10 day i would close again so i think on this day is when it actually closed below the 10 day on this bar so i would have closed the rest of my shares or rest of my position on that day but yeah um yeah this is back in 2021 i believe but tesla got very very extended here right uh so this would have been a very good area to sell into strength um so tesla was at 405 
and 10 day moving average was around 15 16 percent away so that would have been a very very good place to sell into strength um but yeah it, it's a very simple rule so again i'm just going to say it again when the when price is 10 to 15 percent away from the 10 day moving average that is typically a good place to sell into strength um but yeah it's as simple as that when it's extended from the 10 day moving average always sell a portion of your profits into strength and hold the remaining until it closes below the 10 day moving average let's just look at a couple more examples um, so nvidia here had a very nice grind up here right and then it formed a nice flag setup over here and then it broke out on this day uh, you could have bought on this day and then over here it did get a little bit extended but not too much um yeah this one uh, i probably would have uh, used like some so i think on this yeah on this setup i think i would have gotten stopped out actually because it pulled back in way too much that's not great action uh but it did hold on to the 20 day but it did pull back in way too much so this setup probably wouldn't have worked to be honest but on this setup again it gaps up right on earnings i would have bought uh, as it took out new all-time highs right so this is a good setup very very good setup here so this was viable and then over here it didn't uh it formed a little flag here so again good action and then over here it got extended again so at this point it was let me see yeah 13 percent away from the 10 day moving average and yeah it got extended there and that would have been a very very good area to sell into strength so this is another good example Let's take a look at a couple more. Let's look at SMCI. So SMCI got very extended over here. And now it got extended again over here. So let's take a look. Uh, SMCI was viable when it was breaking this big base, right? Breaking this big base. On, on this day, you could have bought it as it was breaking that base. And then this one just kept grinding higher and higher, higher and higher. And then over here, at, at its very peak, ended up being 27 percent above the 10-day moving average so if i'm being completely honest i probably would have sold this one into strength somewhere around here right because it was already 10 10 percent above the moving average 10 percent above the 10-day moving average but over here it got extremely extended so over here i probably would have sold a partial of my profits right and then over here when it gets like tw over 25 percent for the 10-day moving average then i'm selling everything because that's insane right so this typically is very very uh rare you don't see this a lot um so when you do have an opportunity like that you definitely always want to sell into strength um but yeah smci was a really good example it ended up reversing very very hard and then it gapped up again then it formed a nice flag step over here and then this was viable again uh and then again it got very extended very quickly uh over here it was let's see yeah, over here it was still 17 percent away from the 10-day moving average so this what this would have been another good area to sell into strength again but yeah that's pretty much um how i sell into strength so i'll just recap i use the 10-day and 20-day moving average when the 10-day is above the 20-day that's a signal that i can potentially go long so i'll start looking for setups if i see a setup i'll buy and if it's working then i'll take 10 percent or i'll take um a partial of my profits when it is 10 percent above the 10 day moving average so when it gets extended i'll take some partial profits and the remaining position i'll hold until it closes below the 10 day moving average so for example on this one i would have closed on this candle as it closed below the 10 day moving average and then yeah that's pretty much it if you can do that you'll be able to write out the winners for not all of the move um you're not going to catch the